we're working our core and our pelvic floor. Now you can do this move either sitting on a Swiss ball or you can sit on a chair, a firm chair where you're sitting up straight. When you're on the chair though, you need to come to the edge like I'm just off, gonna be just off the edge of the Swiss ball. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to keep your hips and your legs square. You need to hold yourself up straight, hold your arm in a comfortable position. If you're sitting on a chair, that's comfortable. You can just leave your hands at the side or just hold lightly under the chair. You don't want to be tense in your shoulders. We're working our lower body. You're going to have your feet flexed all the time. So pulling your toes towards your, your um, knees. Now what you need to do is the stomach is actually lifting the leg up. You're not working in the hip flexor and in the joint area hard out by bringing the leg up there because then you're not working the stomach and you're just bringing everything and compressing everything together. You need to flex the foot and move the knee away. So can you see the angle of the leg? Now as you come up, you can't be moving from side to side. Don't sway in the hips, otherwise you're not working the stomach. You've got to stay dead straight. So here's your move. Tummy in, hold, two, three, down. Other side, tummy in, hold, two, three, down. And pull in. Don't move over on that ball or chair. The hip stays square. The stomach lifts your leg. And that's all you're going to do. And you're going to keep pulling in from the bottom. Remember, go slowly. Build up to three sets of eight. Just start really, really slow. And remember, be consistent. Think about the move you're doing and be conscious all the time. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do after this move. You're going to lie on the floor and you're going to release the pelvic floor muscles that have been in high tone and the stomach that's been working and tightening. So remember, with the pelvic floor, you need a balance between high tone and low tone. So that if you're not in high tone all the time, it means the muscles can relax. And if you're in high tone all the time, the pelvic floor muscles get really tight and they overwork and they're overloaded. So it's always a fine balance between working the core and the pelvic floor and relaxing the muscles. So here's your relaxation move when you're finished. Lie down on the floor, put your feet together, open up with your palms and relax with your body and hold. And you can stay like that for about three counts of eight if you like, but no more, it's not necessary. So remember, be consistent and be conscious.